week, because oh, it is me, Koyashi, your Palm Tree friend. Welcome everybody, how is everybody doing? I'd like to say a special hello to all the subscribers that helped to support the channel. I appreciate it very much. Now then, this whole video came about because I was asked in a comment, why do I not use DMM Player and the English Translation Skin to play Princess Connect JP? Well, the answer to that is, that will lock me to a PC and these games I see as mobile games, I like to play them when I'm out and about, away from the house and away from the PC. So, I thought, is there a way that I can put a translation skin over games like this, like Princess Connect, when I'm about on my mobile device? Because, unfortunately, I cannot read Japanese and it makes things a little bit difficult at times. Well, the answer to that is to a degree, yes, you can. So continue watching if you would like to find out how. But first of all, I would like to say that this is for Android devices only. You can't do this on an Apple iOS device. If you own one of those, I feel sorry for you because they will not allow screen overlays, they say for security reasons, on their operating system, which means that this will not work on an Apple device. That's why I don't have an Apple device because they limit you so harshly to what you can do on them devices. You have absolutely no freedom. First of all, for anybody who doesn't know, I will just flip over here and show you how to get Princess Connect onto a mobile device. The JP version that is, because it's not in the Play Store anymore. You need to get an app like QAP. It download this the QAP app from their website onto your mobile device. Um, log into it, create an account, and then search in QAP for Princess Connect. Um, and it should come up on here. You download it onto your phone just like you would do from the Google Play Store, and away you go. Everything is hunky dory. So, how do you get a skin over the top of this Japanese language game? translate it to another language well that is in play store here i've been having a look at a few of these apps and i've tried this one here tap to translate screen and i think the translations on this are the best but if you look down here at data safety it does um share data it, collects with other apps which is not the best and it also brings up adverts every now and again which is kind of annoying so the one I have gone with is this one here instant translate on screen the translate translations are not quite as good but it will get you through them um, and it will definitely help and if you have a look at data and safety it doesn't share it doesn't collect any data and it doesn't share any data with any other apps and any data is encrypted in transit which are things you really doing this what is it basically doing is you're allowing the app to view the screen of your mobile device and then it can take all of that information google is the same when you use google lens it takes a picture of your screen and any data that is on that screen google can take and use and do with whatever it likes so you have to be mindful with your data protection when using these kind of apps. That being said, it is down to your discretion. So if you get Instant Translate onto your phone, download it there from the Google Play Store, you will then have to set its permission so that it can um, create a layer over other apps. Go into its app, app settings and create a layer, give it permission to create a layer over other apps. Then you pick the languages that you want it to translate. I've got it translating from Japanese to English. You could translate it to any other language. If you speak French, if you speak Spanish, if you speak German, you could get it to translate it to those languages as well. And then press the button, it gives you the warning, and you start. Now let's go back into Princess Connect game and have a look at what it can do. So you can bring right. There was a little bit of a technical hiccup there because it's a screen overlay. It will not 
allow me to screencast. It will not also allow me to record the video. So we're going to have to do this with a set of images because it will allow me to screenshot it. Okay, so when you open up the Instant uh, Translate app, you will see this um, little green circle here appears as an overlay. If you click on that and hold it, you will get a little magnifying glass. And if you drag that magnifying glass over a piece of text, it will then translate it. And there you go, it's translating what you carry is saying. If you hold down the button, you will bring up this panel, which will give you a few other options. Some of them are premium, but what you need here is all free. If you click on the global translate button there at the top, you will see if we go across here into Yukari's skills, we click on this global translate button here at the top, it will translate the whole screen. So there we go, you click on the button and this appears, it will translate the whole screen. The translation, the trans, the t it's okay, the but potash, is that, it's, hmm. Yes, the translations are maybe not best, but they will allow you to get through. And it was the EX equipment that was really annoying me, having to take a screenshot, go into Google Translate or Google Lens, translate it, and then go back into the game. This allows you to do this in the game. No need to do any screenshots. It will do it on an overlay in the game like that. And it will allow you to get through. It's not the best, but it can work you can get by with it but i'm not going to be able to record videos with it because like i say as it's an overlay it stops me from recording and um passing to my computer with my mobile which is how i do it anyway there we go this is again like i said for android devices only if this has been helpful to you then please like and subscribe and thank you for watching again i am the koreashi your party friend i'll see you all again for another video Thank you, everybody. Bye, 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 bye.